Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adebue, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 28th day of November 2023. And our topic for today is the key to divine power. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you and appreciate you again for an awesome time to sit before you. We thank you for your Word that comes to us and blesses us each day. We thank you because your Word always blesses and enriches us. We ask that one more time you would release your word to us again. Father, speak to us and cause our hearts to be responsive to these words. Let us not just hear, but help us also to be doers of the same. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the key to divine power. And our memory verse for today is from the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 25. Galatians 5 verse 25 reads, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 25. Our text for today is from the book of Acts chapter 2. We'll be reading from verse 1 to 4. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 reads, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the key to divine power. And in today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says that the power of God does not come cheap. I remember asking God to give me power to work miracles. And he answered, start where Jesus started. I was excited, thinking I would repeat Jesus' first miracle. Until the Lord pointed Matthew chapter 4 verse 2 out to me where Jesus started with 40 days of fasting and prayers. If you want power from God Almighty, you must be ready to conquer your flesh. When you are ruled by the Spirit, not the flesh, then God can trust you with power. If you can get addicted to fasting, prayer, studying the Bible and holiness, then you are a candidate that God can consider for the possession of divine power. When I talk about holiness and living above sin as one of my major secrets of power, some people think I am only being legalistic. But when you read Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9, you will see that you must love righteousness and hate iniquity for God to anoint you. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 27 that he put his body under subjection. He said also that he fasted often. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 27. What was the result of all this? Acts chapter 19 verse 11 to 12 says that when demons saw his handkerchiefs, they ran. That is power. When I am fasting and emphasizing holiness every day, I know what I am doing. I am seeing the results in my life, so I will not stop. Several years ago, the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International invited me to preach on the new anointing. By the time I had finished speaking, I had to sneak away into the car because everybody wanted to touch me. There was a man running after me with a handkerchief in his hand. Fortunately, he was able to reach the car and he rubbed his handkerchief on it before I drove off. Back at home, there was a little girl who was so demon-possessed that it took six men to hold her down. He arrived on the scene, touched the girl with the handkerchief, and she became normal again. If you want this type of power, 
you must be willing to pay the price. You must learn to put your flesh under subjection and God will give you power to do great things for him. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the key to divine power. Yesterday we saw a similar topic which was the key to influence. And in that study, our Father and the Lord explained to us that the key to influence is meekness. We saw from the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 5, our Lord Jesus Christ saying that blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Meekness was explained to us as being so powerful, yet acting so weak for the good of others and the fulfillment of God's will. We saw the example of Elisha, how he let go of all that he had to follow after divine assignment, and as a result, God honored him. Our Father and the Lord also mentioned about himself, how he let go of all of his achievements to pastor a church, and today we can see how God has blessed and honored him. Our topic for today, which is the key to divine power, reminds us of what our Father and the Lord says often, that nothing goes for nothing. You will agree with me that when you walk into a store or a supermarket and you find some things you desire, you'd have to back that desire up with purchasing power for those items to become yours. Desire and intention alone is not enough. No wonder today we hear so many people crying, Lord use me, Lord use me. Yet, there is no demonstration of an outstanding level of divine power in their lives. That is because this does not answer to wishful thinking. To assess this divine power, our Father and the Lord explains to us that we must use the instruments of prayer and fasting. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 21, our Lord Jesus Christ speaking there says, How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. There's a certain level of divine power that you cannot command by whining, dining, and feasting away. We learned from our study today that we must be able to put our body under subjection. We must not let it rule over us. We are also told in our study for today that to operate in this divine power, we cannot do without holiness. It is quite disheartening to note that many people today think that holiness is optional. In fact, some have even gone ahead to deceive themselves by having a form of godliness in the open, while they go ahead to condone sin in the secret. You cannot manifest divine power when you are still operating in pretense. In fact, prayer and fasting while living in unholiness could be said to be gymnastics and hunger strike. Scripture tells us in James chapter 5 verse 16 that it is the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man that availeth much. You would also recall the seven sons of Sceva. They possibly had all the necessary charisma. They probably knew scriptures and they could quote them. However, the evil spirit asked a simple question. It said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? A man who lives in unholiness cannot have his name in the heavenly register. God is not mocked and so is the devil too. The Lord knows those who are his. And so does the devil too. Reading further from the story of the sons of Sceva, in Acts chapter 19 verse 16, scripture says, And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. That was such a great public embarrassment because divine power was absent in their lives. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that if you want this type of power, you must be willing to pay the price. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and cry unto the Lord. We would be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, please grant me the grace for divine power in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the grace and the strength to tarry in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord also for the grace for fasting. Ask the Lord today for the grace for controlled appetite. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please rekindle my desire for the study of the word. Help me to be a student of your word. Why not also call upon the name of the Lord today, say, Father, help me to live a life of holiness. 
ask the Lord to create in you a distaste for unholiness. Call upon the Lord today and ask, say, Father, please quench every taste and desire for anything that does not glorify you. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please help me to be disgusted by sin. Help me to be irritated by unholiness. Let sin disgust me in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today to put our body, our flesh under subjection to his will in obedience to Christ in the name of Jesus. Why not ask the Lord also say, Father, help us to be true in our walk with you in the name of Jesus. Help us to be sincere in our walk with you in the open and in the secret. Help us to rule over our flesh by your spirit. Declare over yourself today, say in the name of Jesus, my flesh would not have dominion over me. I will not be ruled by my desires. My flesh is brought under in the name of Jesus. For some of these keys to divine power that we learn about today, we would be asking the Lord to grant us the grace to be addicted to them and to follow them in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the grace for fasting and prayer, for the studying of his word and for holiness. Ask the Lord today that the coldness and the lukewarmness of these times would never catch up with us. Instead, we would continue to grow even in greater measures in the name of Jesus. Lastly, ask the Lord today, say, Father, let your divine power find its expression in our lives. Walk through us. Find the expression in us and through us. Let our lives become true testaments of this divine power at work in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our gracious Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father, we thank you for this word that you have brought to us today. Thank you because from this moment moving forward, we would demonstrate divine power. We ask that you would help us to pay the price needed for this divine power. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us you must start minding spiritual things above physical ones if you want the power of God in your life. We receive the grace today to prioritize spiritual things above physical ones in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Romans chapter 15 down to chapter 16. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is from our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Praise Him, Praise Him, Jesus, our Blessed Redeemer. Have a great day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. Sing, oh, and His wonderful love proclaim. Tell Him, tell Him, I yes, I can just ignore Him. Strength and honor, give to His holy name. Like a shepherd, Jesus will guide his children in his arms. He carries them all along. Oh, ye saints that dwell on the mountain of Zion, praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. For our sins He suffered and bled and died. He our Lord, our hope of eternal salvation. Hail Him, hail Him, Jesus the crucified. Loving Savior, make me endure in sorrow. From victors that could in the day Despise and forsaken, praise of glory, ever triumphant now. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. Every mortal love in us on our Jesus Savior.
happiness forever and ever. Proudly, proudly, prophet and priest and king, that is vanquished, fairly with joy and faithful. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.